For Everything Scary, I'm GM Haunt, and today I'm going to be giving you the ultimate tour of my room. Yep, so today I'm going to be giving you my ultimate room tour. You're going to see all the animatronics I have, all the decorations, and you're going to see my recording setup for when I make my videos. Anyway, let's get started. When you open the door, you're going to come out right here, where you can see everything. The first animatronic I have on display is Smoldering Zombie from Spirit Halloween. So here he is, as you can see. Uh, I also have Groom Grave and Angel right here. As you can see, there he is. Groom Grave and Angel is here. And I have the actual Spirit Aquarium sign that was used in the store. Then, if you slowly move over here, you will see my next animatronic. I have Creepy Towering Clown right here, and underneath him, I have Pop of Zombie Toilet. He's actually broken. And then over here, I have Roaming Antique Clown. And then I have a Skeleton Dog, which isn't Spirit Halloween. I have Spirit Halloween's Terror TV here, and actually a crate from the Frank Fisher or from the SS Riptide. Then, this is the big part of my room that has all of the most animatronics I own. As you can see right here is my favorite animatronic I own and my favorite animatronic of all time. I have Wacky Mole Clown from 2013 from the Clown Train. He fully works, I don't have him plugged in right now, but he fully works, both eyes light up. Uh, he moves back and forth and he still does have dialogue. Over here I have a broken Bloodthirsty Betty. And then as you can see you see some of my step pads. Moving on, I have Burlap Horror. He works, fully working behind Wacky Mole Clown. Uh, and I also have a Broken Sitting Scarecrow. Here I have Forgotten Farmer. And over here I have yet another Spare Halloween animatronic, Hazmat Zombie. Here I have, as you'll see him, Rise Up from the Grave, the, or the Pumpkin, Pumpkin Guardian of the Grave. And I just have some stuff on the floor and a strobe light there. So this is my setup right here where I record all of my videos that you guys see. So as you see, my gaming chair is here, and then you guys get that view. I have my computer here with the webcam and my light and everything, my keyboard. Over here is my shelf. So this shelf has various pops, just miscellaneous, not in any category. My next shelf is my Halloween fan shelf. I have Halloween 2018 on here, the Halloween Funko Pop. I have two Trick or Treat Studios, the Halloween 2018 mask and the 1978 mask. I have a 1978 replica knife, again from Trick or Treat Studios. Alright, right here I have the Halloween 2018 NECA figure with the original Halloween behind there. And then uh, little decorations from the NECA figure. And then up at the top is my actual horror shelf that's just all horror. So as you can see behind there, there are various horror Funko Pops. Over here I have the NECA Leatherface uh, figure, and then over here I have some out of the box ones. Right in the middle I have my copy of Terrifier from Damien Leone. On the top I have the Trick or Treat Studios Leatherface mask, and a picture with James and Corny and Nick Castle I got at Monster Mania. I'm moving on here I have my bed, and I have some pretty cool stuff on here. As you can see I have a blanket from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre VHS cover. And then this is a actual whole blanket that has a whole bunch of various drawings from Halloween. And then I have some a, a Friday the 13th pillow, Michael Myers pillow, and it pillow. Moving on, I have my only CFX mask I own. This is the, uh, what is this one called? Um, I forget what this one's called, but it is the, a CFX mask, as you can see. Really good material if you look at it. It's actual, like, real heavy material. And then, I saw someone comment about this in one of my other videos. This is the Sp Spirit Station Z, the Spirit Station Zombies, that from Spirit Halloween theme. Again, this is the store used one, similar to my aquarium sign here. Um, I just collect this stuff because I'm friends with the manager of my local spirit, so that I can collect all this stuff after the year is over. Right now, since the Spirit Aquarium sign isn't up yet because I haven't found a place for it, Put down in the comments below where you think I should put it. Maybe I could put it above my setup here. As you can see, also I have a Halloween 2018 poster uh, right there. Uh, if you take a closer look at this setup here that has all my other things, you can see I have 
Like, this right here is a used um, pillar from the Spirit Station Zombies theme, and there's another pillar right there. Um, so yeah, if, I'll give you guys a better view. That is my big animatronic setup that has all my stuff here with Bloodthirsty Betty. Over here, Smoldering Zombie, and then of course, his Creepy Towering Clown is right here. So my closet is in there. I also have a couple of uh, not used animatronics in there. I have a Broken Rusty uh, in there. I have uh, all the boxes for all these guys. One of the only boxes I don't have is the Wacky Mole Clown. I got him off eBay a couple months ago. Like I said, my favorite animatronic, I think I got him for, yeah, I got him for 400 bucks off eBay, but he didn't have an original box. To be honest, I don't even care because I'm really happy I have a fully working one. I would show it off, but again, I don't have him plugged in right now. But yeah, he's fully working, I just don't have the original box. But uh, downstairs, too, in the basement, I have a couple other things. I have the pumpkin, uh, Lunging Pumpkin Carver Girl and the um, Rising from the Grave Ghoul. I have a couple other animatronics that I just don't have set up here. But anyway, yeah, that is my official room tour. So as you can see, I'll give you guys one last glance at everything here. The shelves, and then you have this stuff, and the Spirit Station Zombies. Um, so, uh, let's cut to the outro. It's gonna conclude my official room tour. I want you guys to uh, comment down below if, if you own any of the same animatronics I own. Let me know if you want me to do another room tour more in depth, if you want me to talk more about the animatronics in depth or how I got them. Uh, as always, remember to like and subscribe. And like I said, comment down below if you like the video, what kind of animatronics you liked in the video, and what ones you own. And remember, as always, for everything scary, I'm GM Haunt. Now, I will see you guys later, or I will do more videos for more Halloween 2020 news and updates. Goodbye!